Right, this is the last leg of our tour of Wales, or well, this tour of Wales, and we are knackered, knackered. We're at Pembry Country Park. It's a caravan motorhome club site. We like the caravan motorhome club sites. They're very nice. Uh, and you get, well, say free electric, you get un unlimited electric and water and you get shower blocks and you get rubbish dump and all that stuff. <laughs> Tracy's knackered, Biscuit won't even come out, she's knackered. Apparently there's a walk which goes out this back gate here. It's a country park walk, she said. Yeah, it's a country park walk and, it, and you can go down onto the beach. About 20 minutes. About 20 minutes. Uh, two miles into town from here. But we've been doing, what, 1,300 to 1,700 steps a day. 1,000. 1,000. Yeah. That I can't <laughs> even speak. Uh, up and It's not just it's flat like, walking though, is it? Uh, no, it's just literally been uphill the whole way. Uphill, downhill, uphill. Legs are killing. Um, but we've crammed quite a lot in in six days. Yeah. So far done 450 miles. We've got another 250 odd miles to get back. More, maybe more. And we've got to be back tomorrow. Oh, at some tomorrow time. night. Tomorrow night. It's now Wednesday afternoon. Yeah, it's fine then. So we're going to chill for a bit and then we might pluck up the energy to walk out I down there. It's all been a bit much for Biscuit though, so... And, and she's, she'll stay in the baby carrier, baby carrier, doggy carrier, for like 20 minutes, half an hour. After that she wants to get down, but then when she's out, literally yeah. a snail could walk quicker at the minute than her. Yeah. So we're not getting anywhere <laughs> very quickly, are we? No. So we, I think if we go out, we're going to have to just pop her in her little doggy carrier and uh, just keep her in it really until she needs a wee. Okay. Yeah. Wine. Ah! <laughs> oh, do you mean the one that comes in a glass? Not your bottle? usual wine. <laughs> I'm, I'm good at that. <laughs> wine? Cheers. Yes, <laughs> so this holiday has had a, an alarming effect on T-Bone. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on, but check this out. Privacy Act, is there not a thing about like leaving people alone when they're doing stuff? I'm just, this is a brightening mask. You, I mean, you I be can even... not what? take you seriously. <laughs> I was trying to have a serious conversation with you a minute ago. Uh huh. They never fit. But my face What? Has... Someone else's face? Where did you get the. Where, where, whose face is it? It's a brightening mask. That's apparently. what Hannibal Lecter would say. <laughs> and, and it doesn't fit properly, but then I said to you this morning, didn't I? I think since I've been on this holiday, my face has changed shape. Definitely, there's something going on. I, I mean, putting someone else's face over your face doesn't, you know, make it better. You're going to put this on this film, aren't you? Yes. Why? I always knew you were two-faced. Uh... Would you like some father beans? With a nice Chianti. <laughs> <coughs> I'm never taking you anywhere, ever again. <laughs> Are you still recording what's I, going on? I can't help looking at you. I'm gonna go and do some maintenance. <laughs> I, on think, my face. I think you seriously need some maintenance on your face. I think a fan life suits me to a treat. I think it's... Actually, this is what you do. You know, you just chill out. I think van life has done wonders for you. <laughs> this holiday has been amazing. You, I feel refreshed. You don't look a day over 200 years old now. <laughs> Wait till you see what I feel looking like. No! Oh no. Don't even go there. Can you stop? Do do like something from Face Off. Do you remember that film? Yeah, it was a good film. I don't know, what did they do? I don't know, this just, oh no. I'm not doing it, it's not ready. I'm not 20 minutes in yet. See ya. Stop! <laughs> good morning. What are we doing? We're going for a walk. It's quite early for us, we're up and out and it's quite past eight. That's <laughs> pretty impressive for us. <laughs> We've got the dog, oh, she's pooing. Hang on. We've done for the camera and uh. she always poos. Biscuit. Stop making shampoo. <laughs> so where are we? We're at this place. We're going to walk down to the wherever the beach. Yeah. Uh, About twenty minutes away, apparently. So we're here. We're back. Right, right, which is like a country park, isn't it? On the back end of this campsite yeah. that we're at. Yeah. Big See, we're parked over there. So we're going to walk through here, and there's a cafe down there, apparently. See what it's like. Maybe get breakfast there. Yep. Uh, we've got to get out of here for 12 anyway, so we've got a couple of hours to explore. We didn't do anything last night because we were knackered and Tracy fell asleep. <laughs> As per usual. Really early. And I stayed <laughs> up watching YouTube I'm videos. Um, but we got up nice and early and had showers and all that and uh, now we're going to uh, 
adventure down here, so yeah, we'll show you. So we've got four hours, 22 minutes to get back to Arundel from here. Tracy wants to go to Cardiff and stop off at Castle Coombs in Chippenham. Possibly, what's the side? Possibly. You know, yeah, you keep saying you're tired. I am tired. You are tired. I just think we could get back to Arundel, park up and then just have an early night. And then tomorrow it's back to normal. I've got to go to work, I've got to pick up Macy and do all that. But, I know Tracy's just trying to squeeze everything in to the last minute. <laughs> we can do it. But we can do some more stuff next week, maybe. Maybe. I am off next week. Because she's off next week too, so we could go somewhere else and have an adventure. Yeah, see how that works out. Go to South Sea or something. <laughs> Where? South Sea. Yeah. Hayling. Or Hayley Island. <laughs> or Arundel. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, don't know what it is. Hello. There's Philippe. 606 miles later, guess where we are? <laughs> six days later, 606 miles and six days later. Hey! Little detour on the way back. Full circle, back to where we started. Just give the van a wash. It's looking very tired on the outside. It's been over a year now since the it was painted. So I'm gonna paint, as I did the wheels a couple of weeks ago, I'm gonna paint the underside of this black all the way around. Probably not the cab, just up to there. And I've got some more white paint. I'm gonna to touch up some bits as well. I do have some rust here and there, right there. There's a little bit up there. Nothing too drastic. The the bonnet, got some bits coming through, but I'm, I can't really do much about that right now except hide it for the minute. And then that's the worst bit there, and that's due to a plastic trim that sits underneath the inside, which I've now took off. And you can see under there, it all gets rusty. See the water. So I'm going to treat that as I did the other side. The other side hasn't rusted. This side I didn't do last year, so I've just took that rubber thing off. And you have these little drain holes here but you have this rubber seal there and it just all sits behind there and rusts
Repeat that. <laughs> we go away then, please. So we can't just repeat it. what you just told me. I read somewhere that there's a clock on it that has a 24 hour rotating thing with just, just pop out. I don't think the real ones, but like, but like, analogy thing, I don't know. Let's go have a look. <laughs> that is the best sketch you've actually ever done. <laughs> So, every 24 hours a jester pops out <laughs> of the clock. No, I don't, well, let's find the clock then and see if it does it.